Today we are dissecting a centipede. They are commonly in the classification of anthropods, but this one particular today is a myropoda. It is in Texas known as the Texas red-headed centipede, but around Arizona area they are known as a giant desert centipede. So this one, as you see right here, Okay, this one right here is the Texas Red Hood Centipede. And it has these little, these little girls right here, these are called body segments. And to each body segment is two pairs of legs. This one is 20 segments long, which is 40 pairs of legs. And I measured it and it came out to four inches and one eighth long. It's pretty big. <laughs> okay, so with that said, the materials you will need for this dissection is just a dissection table, which is right here, a dissection needle, right here, a scalpel or blade. I am using a scalpel kind of blade deal here. I have it covered, so. A scalpel. So I'm using a scalpel. Oh, so. um, you can use just regular plain old tweezers, but today I'm going to use fine pointed tweezers, um, regular tweezers and two tweezers, which those will help me grab the heart and brain that I will be looking at later on. Um, you need forceps, and they are bent. Um, dissection uh, scissors to help cut veins and stuff off the heart and brain, and pins to help pin down the centipede, but make sure you pin it down upside down. Uh, and I also have a disposable dropper and cotton swabs to gather the venom and blood to look at underneath the microscope, which you don't necessarily have to do. Right. And then, of course, picture gestures to help put the heart and brain in so you don't have a mess like everywhere. Okay. So, getting the centipede out right now. I have actually three of them. Oh, this is so weird. Oh, this is so weird. Alright, so here is the centipede. It's gross looking. <laughs> and as doing some research, I was trying to see if I could find anything. Um, I am trying to see here. Ooh, this is so gross. Let me, I know. Let me get something here. If you look, I think right here is like a little tiny hole, and it's right behind every single leg. I think this one shows it better. Those are where it breathes. It actually breathes out through the legs. Right here. And it's all throughout each legs. So, let me see if there's anything else I need to print out. Um, and also, as you do this, remember that the heart is right here in the center of the body. And so while you're cutting, don't cut too deep or else you'll cut it in half. So, let's set it down. All right, I'm gonna take my glove off real quick so I can get the pins out. Cause they are very pointy. Mm -hmm. All right, and where I'm, Pinning this at 
is right here in the back legs. Right there. So that way, as I'm doing the dissection, it doesn't move around and it's easier. Um, so I'm actually going to do one back here. Oh, that's, oh, that's gross. Sorry, guys. And as you can see, these back here are known as back legs, which help carry the prey, but they also carry some venom, so if you get stung by one, it will leave an infection, which might have what happened, been happened to me. And then I'm putting one up here in the front. You don't want to put it in the head, because that is where the brain is, which common sense. Um, so I'm going to put it like right here. Oh, gross. Really need to go in and just gross. centipede pin down. I'm going to put my glove back on. Yes. I don't want to necessarily touch it. So, of course, you can always use regular old pins. We now have that. Now, you want to take your scalpel. And like I said, just go right... Um, you want to go right down the middle, but not too close or too easy. Um, let's see, I'm going to turn it real quick. Okay, Let the camera move around. Alright, and I am just going to try to put it down. Don't touch the table. Um, hang on, I'm going to have to stretch it out a little bit. Because this centipede is like very long. And as you can see, the centipede does stretch. Oh, that's so gross. It stretches very well. Sorry, sorry. It's like a rubber band, guys. And you're just gonna start, I say about the fourth or third leg in, and don't cut too deep. I can. Well, I kind of squished it here, so hang on. If I can get it to cut. You may have to start in the back, which is a okay. It is not cutting. I'm gonna get this out of the way. Please. So, what I am actually experiencing right now is that the body plates are protecting it. So you may have to cut it. <laughs> 